Okay, so today I'm gonna talk about coronavirus. I know it's everywhere, everywhere you look it's coronavirus. Now over in the UK it used to be Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. Now it's coronavirus everywhere. So I thought I'd put this little video together to give my top tip, six top tips on how to keep working airbrush tattoos with the coronavirus out there. Okay, so number one, well, not number one, but the first thing is Surgical Spirit is your new best friend. Now, Surgical Spirit is the main component of antibacterial gel, where everything is sold out everywhere, antibacterial gel, you can't get it anywhere around here. Um, now, this is the main component of it, so we have the best resource being a tattoo artist because we have lots of surgical spirit now if you haven't stocked up on your surgical spirit i really advise you go and buy some i went to buy some the other day online and my usual stockists were completely sold out went to a few others they were sold out i managed to find some so i bought six six so i know i've got plenty to keep me going um it's just crazy toilet rolls I went to buy toilet rolls this morning on my normal shop usually you can buy a pack of nine I can only buy packs of 24 now, not nine. I had to buy 24, I only wanted nine. It's crackers. Anyway, so Surgical Spirit, your new best friend. So, top tip number one is gloves. Now, I don't usually do tattoos with gloves on. I know some people do. Um, but I advise that now you do tattoos with gloves on. These gloves are really nice, tight fit. So they are just like um, your hands, so you can easily do tattoos with these on. And these are medical grade gloves. And they're all really, really cheap. I use, I get mine from Gompols. I did go on to buy some the other day and they were pretty much sold out. I managed to get some, even though they're a little bit bigger than my size. I managed to get some, but they're really cheap. I'll put a link down to um, where you can get these gloves from um, in the description. So that's gloves. So that's top tip number one. Now let me take these off for a minute. Right, top tip number two. Where's my spray gun? So, surgical spirit, what I'm going to do with every child is, before I start, I will get them to put their hands out like this, and I'm going to spray it. One spray. Surgical spirit, get them to rub their hands together. And that's just like antibacterial gel that you've just cleaned their hands with so you'll know that they've got clean hands. Okay, so that's top tip number two. Top tip number three is when you're going to um, spray the tattoo, we usually give one spray, give it a wipe, lost my tissue, give it a wipe and then do the tattoo there. What I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to spray the arm and I'm going to spray the other side as well. And I'm going to give the whole arm a wipe. And the reason for that is you're putting your hand around the whole arm so you don't know what's on their arm, do you? So you know that that is a whole complete clean area if you do that. Also, chuck this tissue away straight away. Don't save it for after spray. Don't save it one person, one spray, one tissue, throw it in the bin. So that's top tip number three. Number four. Now, I always get my kids to stand up when I tattoos. I very rarely get them to sit down unless they're really small. So get everybody to stand up. Then you haven't got the cross-contamination of a stool, of a chair, people putting their hands on something. Everybody stand up and you've, and you've eliminated that problem. Okay, top tip number five. Use your own table. Um, I know some people might go to events or parties and they'll say, oh, we've got a table, you can use the table that's already here. No, use your own table, take your own table. You know your table is clean and you, you haven't got a problem, so use your own table. Um, top tip number six. Now, reusable stencils. Now, they're going on lots of different kits. Now, we need to think about this seriously. The arm, you've just cleaned it. So you're putting a stencil on a clean arm. We know it's clean because you cleaned it first. So do you need to clean your stencils in between every customer? I don't, but it's up to you if you want to. And what you could do is clean each stencil in between each customer. Now, it's totally up to you and how busy you are. 
So what you would do is you would have a little bit of surgical spirit in a pot, you chuck your stencil in between every single customer, give it a clean, give it a wipe, put it away. And it's just giving, if you're doing parties, it's just giving your host a little bit of extra um, peace of mind knowing that you're doing that. And if you tell them these top tips that you're putting in place while this outbreak is happening, they're going to feel much safer in booking you. Um, so let's have a quick rundown of the top tips. So, top tip number one, wear your gloves. You're going to need lots of pairs of gloves because you won't be able to keep the same pair on all the time. So you'll need lots of pairs of gloves. Top tip number two, get the kids' hands, give them a spray, tell them I'll rub them. They will do it, it's fine. Top tip number three, spray the whole arm, not just where you're putting the tattoo. Top tip number four, get your children to stand up. Um, that way they're not contaminating anything by touching anything. Don't let them touch your equipment, anything like that. Top tip number five, use your own table. And top tip number six, clean your stencils with surgical spirit in between every customer. So remember, surgical spirit is the main component of antibacterial gel, it kills germs. So surgical spirit, your new best friend, make sure you've got plenty of it. Now I have an extra bonus tip, which is, it's up to you if you do this, if you're doing paper tattoo, money is the biggest carrier of germs. So what you could do is say you're not taking money, not taking cash, all you're gonna do is take card payments. Now I use this, which is called Sum Up. Um, I'm in the UK, I don't know if they do Sum Up in other countries, but this is awesome. This little thing is 19 pounds no monthly payments and I hold this, not the customer. I do it on my phone, they don't touch anything. So if they're doing cardless, because you can do cardless for the tattoos because it's under 30 pounds, all they've got to do is tap it with their, with their card and you're eliminating germs. Also, the beauty of this is it's glass frontage so you can just clean it with surgical spirit, your new best friend, remember? And you know that's clean. So that's a bonus tip, because money is the dirtiest thing around, so that's going to pass germs everywhere. So, they're my top tips for keeping airbrush tattoo parties, events, keeping coronavirus away. Another thing I would say is if you've got a queue of children, make sure they sound well back from you. I know I've been at events sometimes and they all crowd round you, and if you've got a kid behind you coughing in your hair and spluttering all over you, it's just the worst thing ever. So... Make sure they're kept well back from you, just so they're not coughing over the top of you. So, hope you liked my top tips on the coronavirus and keeping working with airbrush temporary tattoos. If you did, hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more top tips and hacks for airbrush tattoos. Oh, and one last thing, don't forget, airbrush like a boss.